What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to use a wildcard um, to filter values. So today we want to filter the country on this data set. I have a data set of countries and um, we want to filter in column A. We want all countries that start with AN and end with AN to show up and we'll be using a wildcard to do that. Alright, so first let's go to tools macro visual basic editor and I have the code written already and the uh, sub is going to be called wildcard filter all we need to do is have active sheet which is this sheet here we, where we start our range is a4 and then we have dot auto filter field one and our first criteria is going to be a in with the wildcard there the asterisk so this will pick up any countries that start with the letters A and N. Our second criteria will be any countries that end with A and N. So you see the wild card or the asterisk is before the A and N right here. So any countries that start with A and N and end with A and N. And in order to get both, you have to add this operator, Excel or function. This allows you to pick up countries that start with A and N or end with A and N. So let's go ahead and run the macro. So you go to view macros, run, there you go. All the countries listed here, they start with A N or end with A N. So here this ends with A N, this starts with A N, and so on. And if you look at the actual filter itself, you can see that it says it begins with A N or ends with A N. So the wildcard feature is very useful especially when you're looking for a particular item that doesn't have the same name. We can definitely go over that in another video. Um, I'll be using the wildcard feature a lot more. But uh, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any suggestions, any questions you might have, or any topics you want me to cover. Thanks.